A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 8th Annual Sunday Night Lights. I'm Gary Yukon. I'm joined up here in the booth by Tony Floyd. We will bring you some of the play-by-play -play action, and we have two reporters down on the field. Fabulous helpers helping out tonight. How about a big round of applause for Annabella right here next to me? She wanted to wave at her mom in the stands. Annabella, why don't you wave to your mom? This is your chance. She's doing it, it's a very small wave. And she said if she had a superpower that it would be to fly. I think we can all relate to that. Anna, why do you want to fly? Why do you want to fly? Because she wants to fly. Let's give her a big hand, Annabella. All righty, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Garrett Kruger, and this is my good friend Liam over here. Uh, Liam is 15 years old, and he's been around for many years to uh, uh, Sunday Night Lives. Uh, Liam said there's, uh, he'd like to wave to his mom and dad, so give them a shout out. All right. Where, where would you like to go someday, Liam? I don't know. I think Antarctica would be pretty cool. He wants to go to Antarctica, so that's awesome. Uh, it will be very cool, as in a cold way. All right, he's going to be with our band tonight playing the bell, so make sure you're here for Liam. Before we continue with our introductions, we have some people here, our fourth and fifth grade choirs, our elementary choirs, and I think they have a presentation for us this evening. Mr. Franzel's ready, gives me the okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please stand. Remove your hats, honor America, and remember our friends and relatives who are stationed around the world protecting our freedom. As the Spirit of St. Louis Marching Band and our fourth and fifth grade choirs sing our national anthem. Our Lindbergh Flyerettes have some special members to welcome to their dance line this evening. Let's have a warm welcome for each of them. All right, thanks again, Mr. Gary. I'm now with the cheerleaders. Let's give it up for Kat Cottle right here. Kat is 14 years old. She's at Festus Middle. She's an eighth grader, and she said if you could have any animal in the world for a pet, that it would be a koala bear. Do you remember why, Kat? Uh, because they're freaking adorable, and I'm allowed to have them. Because they're freaking adorable, and she's not allowed to have them. That's a great answer. Good job, Kat. Thanks for being here. All right, down here, we have uh, little Miss Ella. Say hi, Ella. Hi. <laughs> Let's see. Ella would like to be a unicorn. Uh, she would, no, no, sorry. She'd like to have a unicorn as a pet. <laughs> uh, because they're so magical. And what's your favorite subject in school, Ella? My subject in school is um, my friends. My friends, that's, that's my favorite subject too. This person we're going to be introducing is Angelica Ingram. Angelica's right here, she's in second grade. How about a hand for Angelica? She's waving to her mom, her two sisters, and her three brothers. That sounds like a loud house. Angelica said, if you could have any animal in the world, it would be a baby cat. Do you remember why? Because they're so cute and cuddly. Nailed it. Nailed it. Angelica, I'm going to call you Angel. Back to you, Garrett. 
Alrighty, down here with Emma. Emma's a first grader. Uh, she also goes to St. Mark. Uh, what, what kind of pet would you like to have, Emma? Elephant. An elephant? Why would you like an elephant? They're so big. Because they start with the E. My name starts with E. Alright, so if your name starts with an E, you must be pretty cool. Thank you, Emma. All right, next up we have 10-year-old Reagan Osterberg. Give it up for Reagan. And 5-year-old Evie Osterberg. Give it up for Evie. Reagan said if she could be any animal, she would be a... Do you remember what you said? This is kind of a funny answer. What'd you say? A pig. And why a pig? Because they're pink and they're my spirit animal. Okay. Anybody else in the crowd? Quick show of hands. Pig is your spirit animal. Yeah, we got a lot of pig fans. A lot of pig... This is a, this is a pig support group over there. Nice job. Evie, you said your favorite animal was what? I know I love my elephant. An elephant? Do you remember why? Because I like them. Because you like elephants and they're so smart, right? Just like you. All right, how about a hand for these two, Evie and Reagan. Thanks again for being here, guys. All right, next up we got Hope. Give a big wave, Hope. All right, you say hi to your mom and your grandma. Hi. <laughs> What kind of animal would you like to be, Hope, or have for a pet? I would like to be a wolf because they're really pretty in the winter. Yeah, a wolf. I like that. Thank you, Hope. Our little lady next to me is six-year-old first grader, Renaya. Everybody say hi, Renaya. <laughs> Renaya, do you want to wave at your mom? She's out there somewhere, right? You see her? These pom-poms are even more adorable this close, let me tell you. All right, if you could have any animal in the world, you said a dog or a guinea pig, the rare guinea pig. Do you remember why? Because, because they're both cute. They are both cute, nice job. How about another hand for Renaya? Alrighty, one more, uh, one more cheerleader, and her name is Ariana. She's sitting over there. She's a little tired, but her buddy Nicole is going to introduce her for us. So her name is Ariana, and she's 11, and she wants to say hi to her mom and her dad. And if she wanted to be, if she could have any animal, she it would be a dog because they're really cute. Alrighty, thank you, Nicole. All right, let's make let's make some noise down here for our guests of the cheerleaders tonight. Awesome job, awesome job. Awesome to see the, the, the cheerleaders from Limburg as well. As well as the Limburg Fly Arts. Give it up for the Limburg Fly Arts. They look amazing tonight. We know competition season's coming up. We're all getting nervous. Orlando's how many months away? Three, two, four? Just give me some indication. Four months, three months away from Orlando. Oh my gosh. They brought some friends with them tonight. This is little Sophia. She's a kindergartner. A five-year-old, and she's going to be a princess for Halloween? Is that right? Why do you want to be a princess for Halloween? Because I really like princesses. That makes sense to me. We interview high schoolers that have less microphone skills than some of these kids. I just want to point that out. Nice job, Sophia. Garrett, your turn. All right, down here we have Sammy. Say hi, Sammy. Hi. All right, how old are you? Five. She's five, and she's proud of it. Uh, what's your what's your favorite animal? Um, a cat. Why is it a cat? Because um, they're cute. Oh, good. Say hi to your parents. Say hi. Say hi, mom. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. All right, I got Miss Julia, another six-year-old, and she is planning to be Elsa for Halloween. Anybody familiar with Elsa from Frozen? That's right. Julia's a little shy. Should we let Julia sing from Frozen tonight? Yeah? All right, how about I'll take the first note and you can jump in. Ready? No? You don't even want me to sing? How do you know? Do you think I'm a bad singer? Okay, let it go. Let it go! Oh my god, that was so good. Julia, coming right out of her shell in front of everybody. Nice job, Julia. All right. 
All right, next up we have Carissa. Say hi, Carissa. Hi. All right, what, what grade are you in? Six. She's in sixth grade. Uh, where would you like to travel in the world someday, Carissa? Paris. Paris, all right, I like that. Well, you have fun dancing tonight. Thank you, Carissa. I think that concludes our Flyer Rhett introductions. One more round of applause for our Flyer Rhett and their special friends tonight. We'd also like to remind you our middle school junior flyers will be coming through the stands tonight periodically with trash bags for your trash disposal. Let's make an effort to keep our Flyer Stadium and our campus spotless. We have another tradition here at Lindbergh. It's been going on for a long time, and I've been here for a long time. We always play the fight song before we introduce the starting lineup, before we introduce the players. So i got to call on the marching band down there. Take it away, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get started, Mr. Gary, I'm down here with some of the Lindbergh football players. They wanted me to remind everybody that they beat Melville 59 to 28 on Friday night. And they are 6-0 coming up this Friday night. They're going to take on the Huskies from Rittner, who are also 6-0. All right. We're going to get started tonight by introducing Coach Daniel Crum. Daniel, wave to the crowd. You want to say hi to anybody? He's 22 and he is on the field on Friday nights. Daniel, get out there. All right. I'm right, the white team, Coach. Where are you at? Where's the coach for the white team? Tony, there you are. Come on, Tony. All right, one of the Flyers' biggest fans here, Tony. Go ahead, take the field. Yeah, Tony. Yeah. From the green team, down here is Colin Schlereth. He's a 12-year-old from Wood Ridge Middle School. For Halloween, he wants to be a scary face. Colin, get out there. Alrighty, we have an assistant coach also with the white team. His name is Christian. Uh, wearing an extra large shirt, but he's filling it out correctly. Looking good, Christian. Go ahead and take the field, man. All right, next to me now is sixth grader, 11-year-old Jacob Gancola from St. Clair. He says for Halloween he wants to be himself. That's profound, man. That's profound. And his superhero is Superman. Get out there, Jacob. Alrighty, first player on the white team. He's been dying to get out here all day. I've seen him running around the cafeteria. His name is Thomas. He's a five-year-old. Uh, he wants to be a vampire for Halloween, and he is so fast that his favorite superhero is Flash. Go ahead, take the field, Thomas. All right, the next person next to me is kindergartner, five-year-old James Matlock from St. Marcus. James says for Halloween he wants to be a dinosaur, and tonight he's ready to get that W. Next up, we have Liam, nine-year-old. He's in third grade. He's going to be Batman for Halloween. And Batman is his favorite superhero. Say hi, Liam. Hi. Hi. Yeah. All 
All right, next on the field is sixth grader, 11-year-old Skylar Sanders from St. Clair. He says his hero is LeBron James. Skylar, get out there, man. And next up for the white team, we have Zachary. Zachary is a nine-year-old in third grade. Uh, he wants to be Toe Mater for Halloween. That, that's a good costume right there. And his favorite superhero is uh, Superman. All right, take the field. All right, next up is third grader, eight-year-old Dartonian. He goes by Dart, and he's from Central Elementary, and his hero is himself. Dart, you're my hero, too. Get out there. Get out there, Dart. All right, and next up for the white team, I have a feeling he's going to be a major playmaker. His name is Darnell. Uh, Darnell is a nine-year-old. He wants to be a clown for Halloween, and his favorite superhero is Superman. Take the field, Darnell. Next up is fourth grader, nine-year-old Caden Matlock from St. Mark's. He wants to be a skeleton from Minecraft for Halloween. Ooh, we all we all remember those costumes. Caden, do you want to say hi to somebody tonight? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom and Dad from Caden. All right, get out there. Give them a big hand. All righty, next up on the white team, we have Evangelo. Uh, Evangelo is a nine-year-old. His favorite hero is his dad, and his favorite athlete is Odell Beckham, who scored me two touchdowns on my fantasy today. So go ahead, take the field. On the shoulder of Jason Grenia here is two and a half year old Evie Lauber. She wants to be a princess for Halloween and she says her heroes are her brothers. And Ellie is next to her. Take the field. All right, next up, number 37 on the white team. His name is Malik, he's a three year old. He wants to be a horse for Halloween. And his favorite superhero is Spider-Man. Take the field, Malik. All right, we got a seven-year-old a seven in first grade with a mouthpiece. He came prepared tonight. This is Hudson. Give a big round of applause for Hudson. He wants to say hello to somebody. Hi, Mom and Dad. Ah, nice job, Hudson. Take the field, buddy. Good luck tonight. Alrighty, next up we have Damon, a 10 year old, uh, he wants to be Deadpool for Halloween, and Damon, what do you love? Football. He loves football, take the field. Next up is five year old Riker from homeschool, and he wants to be a ninja for Halloween. Riker, why do you want to be a ninja? Because I love them. You and I both, brother. Ninja Man Riker, get out there. Alrighty, next up for the white team, a nine-year-old named Cole. Cole wants to be a scarecrow for Halloween, and his favorite hero are both his parents. Go ahead, take the field. All right, next to the field is eighth grader, 13-year-old Aiden Duggan from Ladue. For Halloween, he wants to be a centaur. Tell me again what a centaur is. It's a half human, half horse. Half human, half horse, terrifying. Get out there, Aiden. Alrighty, next up we have Jake, a 13 year old. He wants to be a flower for Halloween. I imagine he's a ladies man. Uh, his favorite uh, athlete is Vladimir Tarasenko. Take the field. With a good handshake, I like that. Next up is first grader, seven year old Christopher, who says his hero, wait for it, is his mom. <laughs> Christopher, do you want to say hi to anybody? My mommy. Mommy, he says hi to his mommy. Christopher, get out there. All righty, next up for the white team, we have Nate. Nate's a sixth grader, he's 11 years old. Uh, his favorite superhero is Green Arrow. Go ahead, take the field, Nate.
next up, I have 14-year-old Brett Howbrish. Brett is a huge Green Bay Packers fan, a huge Brett Favre fan. Did the Packers win today? Uh, I don't know. Let's hope they did. Someone says they did. They beat Cincinnati. Thanks, Grania. All right, Brett, let's have a good night. Thanks for coming out. Check, check. All right, next up for the white team, we have James. James is in eighth grade. His favorite uh, superhero is... Um, Batman. Batman. Okay, what... Baseball. Baseball, cool. Go Carp. All right, next up for the green team, I have eight-year-old second grader Jason Grunenberg from St. Clair. Jason, believe it or not, for Halloween says he wants to go as Pennywise, the scary clown from It. Wow, he must be brave. Jason, do you want to say hi to anybody tonight? No, he just wants to play. He's just ready to play. He's in the zone. All right, Jason, get out there. Last but not least, for the green team, 7th grader, 12-year-old Jacob Moutre, who says for Halloween, he wants to be Captain America. He says his heroes are his parents. Do you want to say hi to your parents? Hi. Hi, Mom and Dad. Jacob, good luck tonight. Get out there. All right, Gary, back up to you. I think we're just about ready to kick things off. Well, Flyer Nation, we need to get on your feet. There's a banner out there, and there are a lot of young people that can't wait to run through that banner. So, as I say at the Varsity Games, Flyer Nation, get on your feet. Make some noise. Sunday Night Lights is about to start. We've got, we got our coaches up here. We're going to do the coin toss, but actually, it's an M&M toss, okay? All righty, we're going to have Tony be the away team and Daniel be the home team. So, Tony, what's your call? Heads? All right, this is heads, this is tails. Here we go. Oh, tails, all right, Daniel's ball. Received, Daniel's going to take the ball and they're going to go that way. All righty. Let's play football. All right, as we get ready for game time, I introduced Tony Floyd earlier. For those of you who didn't know it, he is a professional football play-by-play -play announcer, so I'm going to turn it over to him to do the play-by-play. All right, it looks like a white team's going to be on defense. That means green team is on offense. The coaches have gone over the ground rules. They're making sure all the uh, proper equipment has been installed. They've all signed a sportsmanship agreement. Nobody appears to have metal spikes in their boots. That's good. We're just about ready for the first snap. Let's get ready to rumble. looking line right there. Wow. Here we go, Green Machine. Defense gets set. Oh, in the backfield. He's going. Oh. Was he caught? In the backfield, he grabbed it in the backfield. Second down of the tackle, looks like he no gain there. After a little contact on the play, we have third down coming up. Fourth down, what are we electing to do? Alrighty, fourth down for the green team. 
Looks like they're going for it. Slow that rush down on the white team. Slow it down a little bit. some mean defense? Yeah. Show your muscles. Those are big muscles right there. This is Lindbergh senior Rico Payton drawing up a play and getting interactive with it. Looks like an eye formation for the green team. They have a full backfield right now. Snap. He's going. Oh, great defense. He slips through. Oh, tackle right before the goal line.
2017 Lindbergh Flyerettes. Sunday Night Lights. One, two, three. Making new friends. Crushed it. Making new friends. How about one more hand for our cheerleaders tonight? You guys are awesome. <laughs> on here on the field, I have Riker. He wins the award for best shoes. Show off your shoes, Riker. Let's see them. Look at those things. Thank mom and dad for those. Can they connect and tie this ball game? Under a minute left to play. Got a head off. He's going in. That was a nice open field tackle right there, number 73.
parents of our Sunday Night Lights participants to stop by the family checkout on your way out. Also, I want to thank Garrett down in the field down here, Garrett Kruger and Justin Cage, Tony in the press box for all their help tonight. I want to thank the Lindbergh community for coming together on this special night. And on behalf of the Sunday Night Lights and the Lindbergh community, Rainbows for Kids, Friends for Kids with Cancer and Camp Rainbow, we want to thank you for helping these rising stars shine tonight. Please drive carefully and buckle up on your way home and arrive safely. And always remember, it's a great day to be a flyer.